Hi guys, welcome back to our annual Boxing Day haul, or actually I'm just going to call it what we got ourselves for Christmas because I feel like that's the trend this year on um, YouTube is what I got myself for Christmas videos. As you guys can probably tell from our previous Boxing Day haul videos, we are not big Christmas people. So we tend to just shop for ourselves, yeah. uh, especially on Boxing Day is when we really go ham. Lately, Boxing Day deals have been starting like earlier and earlier. Yeah, like really early. So before we get on with this video, let me get my disclaimer out of the way. If you guys are brand new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below just because I currently don't have a regular upload schedule. So the easiest way to be notified when I post new videos is by hitting that subscribe button. And if you want to make your life a little bit easier, you can hit the bell notification button. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know I am a bargain hunter. Like I refuse to pay retail for anything. Um, and Lily will say I have a really unrealistic justification of what I would be paying. Yeah, because she wants things that are like $2,000 for like $15. And I don't think that's... <laughs> Not 15 but like, oh, yeah, know, okay, fine. like 100 <laughs> I didn't do that much damage to be honest. Lily may not look abandoned. Yeah. But that's because like a lot of the stuff was like my style, I liked it, and I was like, it's coming home with me. <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> Anyways, it's fine. No, but the deals are really good this year. Like for like what I liked. Maybe yes. not for you, but like what I liked. Um, we're gonna start the video with a little mini sunglasses haul. <laughs> like eyewear. <laughs> so you guys probably know from like the previous videos. I'm always like buying sunnies because I love sunnies. Like sunnies are my thing. Like I will collect sunnies. I will create no create no. You know when you like <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> I'm sick by the way. <laughs> Anyways, I like to like build my collection. Of she sunnies. does. Like shoes were my thing, sunglasses were always her thing, so I can't really say anything because she would have called me out for the amount of shoes I own. The first eyewear I'm going to start with is these sunnies. These are Oliver People collabed with uh, The Row. They're just like a very simple pair of sunnies uh, which are called the Board Meeting 2 which have, they're just matte black and just black lens with, I think they're like reflective. Yeah, they're like a reflective lens. And they're just simple. I really like them. They don't scream out like what kind of label it is or a brand. No. The Sorry. thing with all of her people, they're very like, unless you know the brand and you recognize the symbols on the, like, the side of the glasses, you yeah. will not know they are like all of her peaks. The problem with her and sunglasses is they, we can't share because we, she has a round head. So she tends to be able to wear a lot of glasses, like a lot of different shapes, whereas I have more of like an oval head. So I can't wear some of her sunglasses. Like these ones are passable. Like I feel like I can kind of borrow these if I'm fearing adventurous enough. But I feel like they're a little small on my head. But no, I think they look good. But yeah, so this is the <laughs> first pair. Okay, so then the second pair is from Garrett Light. These are like totally different from the first pair. Okay, so I got these, it's because like, I feel like everyone's getting the Ray-Ban, like, John Lennon ones, and I'm like, oh no, everyone has it, which is cool. But then I wanted like a different pair from a different brand, which is Gary Light, which is like, these ones? <laughs> I don't even know. These are the, the Wilsons. Wilson 2? I don't know Wilson? who you got that. Wilson M? Anyways. So they're like this, they're black on black, I think? Are they black on black? I would assume they're black on black. Yeah, I think they're black on black. I can't wear these. These are too small for my head. Uh, I feel like these are really small. But I think you got these at a really good price too. How much were they originally? I think like four fifty, and I got for like one eighty. Yeah, they were ridiculously reduced. Um, you picked them up from Essence. Yeah. So Essence, honestly, you guys can have. They have a sale twice a year, and it's up currently up to seventy percent. And if you can look out and you kind of browse like the website enough, you can get stuff pretty discounted and they're usually high-end designer um, up to 70% off. So like from four something to 185 yeah. or 158. 
I know, I think it was 185 or something. Something 180. Yeah. Which is really good price for Garrett Light Sunnies because they're very hard to find and I feel like they really like jack up the price when you're in Canada compared to the States. So when you can find a good pair and a good a reasonable price, you should like get it. I'm just saying. So then the third glasses, the third eyewear I got, they're not sunnies. They're like my eyeglasses, but I didn't put my lens, like my prescription in it yet. But I've been just wearing it <laughs> as like you know an accessory, I guess. Yeah. But all every time I wear it, <laughs> this one is like they're not even real. So no, like I, I have to take them off and <laughs> give her a lecture, a lecture of saying, stop saying that. We need to act like they're real temporarily. <laughs> so let me be. It's because I come home and she's wearing these glasses and she only needs glasses for seeing far. Yeah. So I come home, I see her with these glasses, and I like literally it just infuriates me because she has real reading glasses. So she, I'm like, these are not even real glasses. Yeah, but they will when I go bring them to my, my eye people. My, I don't know. Optician? Yeah. For them to put my like prescri prescription in. But anyways, they're just like, they're called the uh, Gold Andrew? Something Andrew. Weren't they like also ridiculously marked down as well? Oh, they're called the Garfield. Yeah, so they were, they were about like, I think 400 and I got them for 135. Did you get them reduced again? Yeah, to 135. Oh, to 135, so yeah. Because it was like 175 or something like that. Okay. They're super light, like ridiculously light. Because they don't have real lenses in them. But when they do, they're probably still light. <laughs> My prescription is not like that bad. And um, yeah, and they're just gold, simple. I was like, yes, let's pull up that hipster vibe. So... Those are the three eyewears I got. If you guys have been watching our Boxing Day haul videos, you always know I end up picking up a bag at a ridiculously reduced price. This year, I didn't get any bags at a ridiculously reduced price. But that's because you didn't like any of them. No, but I also picked up one during Black Friday, so I was just like, no, I'm not going to buy another bag. Uh, but this one here, lucked out. Yeah. So what I got was... A Puenza Schuller bag, really, really good price, like, amazing. <laughs> and um, so it is this bag, which is gorgeous, like gorgeous. <laughs> I am usually against the style of the bags because it's literally just an open compartment. What? Um, we were like idiots in the store because we couldn't figure out if the bag could snap. Yeah. Um, oh, it does. So yeah, it actually snaps shut. So I was more on board with it, the fact that you can snap it shut. Um, she's always wanted a bucket bag. Uh, we weren't too sure about this braiding detail, uh, but in person, it is actually kind of cute. Yeah. It's really um, adorable. It's new book in leather. So she got this bag at like what? It was originally like sixty percent off. About sixty-five. Oh, sixty-five yeah. percent off. So it was originally about eleven sixty, and I got it for four eleven, which is insane. Which is also why I was like, "You can get it. It's mine." Because she was like, "Treat yourself, little one," and I was like, "Yes, I will." So the next store we stopped off at was Anthropology, and I think the time we went into Anthropology, it was the same sale as they had during their Boxing Week, which was extra forty off sale items. But the day we went, we went like a few days before Christmas, and everything in the store was actually thirty percent off. So I picked up a pair of black, uh, nothing special, kind of like mid-rise AMG jeans. These are the Abbey Ankle, which is the mid-rise super skinny ankle. And the only reason why I picked these up at 30% is I try to catch these on sale because sometimes you can get AMG jeans at ridiculously reduced prices. At Anthropology, with like, and I say ridiculously reduced, like you can get them like 80 bucks with extra 40. Uh, I've been trying to catch this pair for the last year or two and I had no luck, so at 30%, I figured I might as well just bite the bullet because I do wear these pants to work uh, as a little hack. If you guys cannot wear denim to work, like I can't besides Fridays, I tend to buy Japanese denim and wear them to work because they have the look of a denim, but they don't feel like denim. So if anyone calls you out on it, you could just be like, feel my pants. They don't feel like jeans. 
actually Lily found this was this kind of like faux burgundy motorcycle shearling jacket. I actually had spotted this a while ago and I kind of forgot about it but when we were in there Lily's like go oh, try this jacket and I actually really wanted it back then but I was not going to pay $200 for it because this retail for $198. It was on sale for $100 with extra $40 so $60. Bucks. I was like yeah I could do this. So the next pet store we went to was Sandro a few days before Christmas started and their deal was an additional 30% off any sale item so I only picked up two pieces there I actually wasn't gonna pick up anything but I kind of tried it on and I was like oh, kind of want it and then Lily was like it's a nice suit yeah because it like you know sometimes I feel like you gotta find the right suit with the right material the right pattern to make it yeah. look good when you don't have those components that suit sucks so <laughs> I picked up this kind of plaid blazer, which I love. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. It's kind of like a gray with burgundy and kind of like on the purpley side. Yeah. And I've been looking for a plaid blazer for the longest time. Uh, and this is not too in your face. And I got the matching pair of pants. I usually don't do a whole matching suit. Um, I don't know, I just find it kind of looks too formal. Um, and especially when it's a pattern suit, it's very hard to find a pattern that looks cute as a whole suit because sometimes it can be just too in your face. I couldn't walk away with it. It's such a good deal because I had my eye on this blazer from the spring and this blazer is like $600 I believe. It was on sale for $310? No, $300 and then it had extra 30% off so it was $290. So like $290. You can't go wrong. Uh, the pants was I think 345 it was marked down to two something and then there was like an extra 30 so I ended up paying like um, what did I end up paying like 166 for the pants and it was the whole suit together came up to $433 which is insane the other thing I picked up at the bay was kind of boring but I just picked up this puffer jacket literally nothing special I picked one up for me and as a gift to my mom because my mom wanted like a lighter jacket um, to wear when she was running errands, so I figured I can get her this. So I really just wanted this as a jacket to wear to and from the gym because a lot of my winter coats are fitted and I can't actually fit a sweatshirt under. Um, so this one I bought a little bit oversized and I can just hop in, hop out. Lily was tempted to get one so we can be yeah. three matching. Because I was thinking, I'm like, oh, maybe I should have got a jacket so then we could be like the three amigos. <laughs> but I was like, oh, I shouldn't. Yeah. This was $189 and it went down to, I think, $113, which is pretty much the cheapest I've seen it. So that is pretty much what I got at the Bay. Then we went to the Bay Outlet and let's just say it was a good day for me. <laughs> I found her a whole freaking outfit. Yeah, gorgeous pieces, like gorgeous. So what my sister found, wait, you can explain the story. What story? I don't understand why no one was looking at this jacket. <laughs> like, Which is this one. This Ghani leather jacket. And honestly, I think this just arrived at the Bay Warehouse. Yeah. Uh, because all of the zippers are still pretty much like wrapped up in tissue paper. Yeah. And it is gorgeous. And I wanted a leather jacket because this one says she'll share with me. But let's be real, she's not going to share with me. She could borrow my leather jacket. No, she because I said I want it. I want to own it. I don't want to rent it. I want to own it. But she won't give it to me. But she found me this one, which is so pretty. And yeah, now I have my own. Very pretty and um, yeah, it's very simple. It doesn't have like the belt here like the typical leather jackets do. It's kind of cropped. It has kind of like a cropped sleeve. Yeah. It it's from Ghani and gorgeous. And then the inside lining okay. is also gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they have to see the jacket. <laughs> so the inside is gorgeous. It's this lovely like sun orange. Know, like a I don't pumpkin know. orange. But it is gorgeous and then it's nice and silky and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it was originally well. Based on the tag, it was originally eight seventy two. Went down to four thirty six, and then it was half off. Got half off, so we oh, got yeah, this jacket off. literally for two hundred and like fifteen dollars and some change, like two hundred and seventeen dollars, which is insane for a lambskin yeah. leather jacket. This equipment slip dress, but it's not like your typical, you know, that 
silky, like the usual cheap, either cheap or like that silky material. It's like a velvet slip dress, which has like two slits on the side, which is which I'm not showing really well. But anyways, and it has like a nice V, and it's just gorgeous. Very simple. Put this under that leather jacket, you get yourself an outfit. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> And then, oh yeah, for the price, this dress, I actually saw this dress on the Bay website last year and it never went down cheap enough, but it retailed for $358 because the equipment is kind of a high-end uh, kind of silk blouse company and honestly, I can see why they charge the price they charge. Um, it was on sale for $179 and then, because it had this little gold square on the tag, extra 60% off. 60, yeah. So then, okay, so then the next piece of clothing is this gorgeous Ghani dress, yes. which I get, I found, <laughs> which I looks found cute it. under the leather jacket too, which has this gorgeous print, which is like, I guess it's like weaves? No, it's like a, like, I don't know, like a Hawaiian floral print. But yeah, and it's a wrap, but you know, it's okay, I'll wear a tank top because it does reveal a little too much, so I'll just either wear a tank top or get my dad to like, kind of like, um, sew a little snap so it kind of closes a bit but it wraps and it's so pretty and it's kind of like a high-low you would say it's a high-low dress yeah but really gorgeous I don't need to alter it fits well except the top but don't worry about that and this was originally Gaudi dresses were actually really pricey this yeah. was originally six hundred and sixty six dollars it was on sale for three hundred thirty three dollars because of that little gold square, extra 60% off. So she yeah. got it for $133. Yeah. Um, and I think the equipment dress was with the discount came out to like 80 bucks. Yeah, gorgeous. And this looks gorgeous under my Ghani leather jacket too. Especially with her white converse. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. If I'm going for that, like, you know. So on Boxing Day, uh, we actually spent most of our time at Holt Redford. And that's pretty much what we did because then we didn't really get anything else. If you guys weren't aware, Holt Renfrew's discount uh, on Boxing Day was an extra 30% off on sale items. And literally, the store opened at 9 and Lily was dragging her mom <laughs> up <laughs> through the mountain stream be like, we need to get there, I have my eye on something. Yeah. Like I literally held onto her hand and I was like just dragging her up the hill. Because she wasn't walking fast enough yeah. for this little one and I was just like, go! <laughs> Go! I will catch up! <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 we need to go together as a group. Let's not split up. And then she saw the line of yeah. side of Halt Redford and she started panicking. Yes, because she had her eye on this. In this dust bag. So let me just stop this for a second. <laughs> not only did she get one bag, she's gone two bags. Uh, listen, I gotta treat myself. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, this is what I bought myself for Christmas. Yeah, which is... This gorgeous Bottega Veneta clutch, which is called the Lauren 1980 clutch. <laughs> I, looked it up. I looked it up. And it's just, you know, that their classic, you know, what do you call them? It's a weave. It's the a weave. Woven leather. Yeah. Which is in the gray. And it just has like a little clip and you open it. It's pretty big, spacious. It's like all the tissue paper in there. But it looks like this. And I saw this lady looking at the other Bottega Veneta, and I didn't know if she was looking at this one. And I was like, listen, honey, move over. Let me grab this back. And you can continue looking at that bag. But then I, anyway, so I snatched it up. And She's had so. her eye on this bag, to be honest, since Black Friday. Yeah. But it wasn't discounted enough for me to give her permission. Even though she doesn't need my permission, because she's her own person. She's I like, am my... I'm an independent woman <laughs> of age who can make her own choice. <laughs> but I was like, no, it is a clutch bag. I refuse to pay that amount for a clutch bag. Um, but with an extra 30%, I still would have liked it if it was extra 40. Because yeah. last year, Holt Reference discount was an extra 40. This year was an extra 30. Um, and I, uh, I'm still on the fence with it because it's just a clutch bag. It's not a bag you're going to be using every day. I'll prove you wrong. <laughs> That it would look cute with my equipment slip dress, with the Ghani, with my Converse, and this, and we go out for a sushi date. Think about it. <laughs> but it's really cute. I love it. And I can't wait to use it. 
I guess and it has a zipper inside. It was, I guess it's pretty discounted. Ugh. Yeah, because on the Essence website, it's still s selling at the full price, which is like I think twenty six hundred. It's twenty five sixty. Yeah, which is like ooh, very expensive for a clutch. Yeah, but so, at Halt, it was on sale for a thousand twenty nine, and then there was an extra thirty percent. Um, so seven hundred dollars for Bottega Veneta. Yes, it's pretty. Good deal. It's so pretty. Not only did she get that at Holt Renford. Oh, these I didn't even notice until my mom pointed it out. She saw them, didn't say anything, just walked away. Cause we went to the shoe aisle, and, and I was like, "We are not buying anything else. You just bought the bag." Yeah. Cause like in my head, I was like, "Okay, I just need the bag. I need to I need the bag." But then I was like, oh, we're here, let's just go look at the shoes. <laughs> but this one was like, no. And I was like, let's just go upstairs. <laughs> so anyways, what I found at the shoe aisle is some Montclair winter boots. Yes. Which I didn't even know who they were because I was Googling them as the guy went to go get the other shoe. And I, he, he kept saying, it's a great price, it's a great price. And I was like, okay, I don't know. Who this is let me just google and my mom was like this is a gorgeous pair why weren't you touching it why aren't you looking at it i should think that she wanted to disinvite our mother from coming <laughs> with us for boxing day yeah she wouldn't have found this pair of boots like lily already wore them today she was yeah. excited uh they're literally this pair of like kind of hiking like they're kind of like a timberland but like prettier up there. <laughs> with like shirling lining yeah uh, they wore a really good price especially since the fact that they were mismarked yeah so they were originally 935 on the box it says 559 but on the shoe that had the price on it said 399 so literally yeah. the guy had to honor the price like yeah. uh, and give it to us at 399 minus the 30 percent so they were literally like 200 and something dollars yeah. for Montclair shoes and honestly and it was like the funniest thing because when I was pay when she was paying for them and the guy's like oh it's like 441 and I'm like that's a lot of taxes yeah. but I was just like hold on I'm gonna look at the little machine before I swipe my car because maybe I heard it wrong yeah and then we looked at it and we we're like and then he's like, yeah, it's like five twenty nine minus thirty percent. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I thought the shoe was like three ninety nine. And he looked at the bottom. Yeah. And he's like, oh crap, this is my own yeah. handwriting. Uh, he's like, it's fine. Um, I'll give it to you at that price. So if you yeah. guys aren't aware, if an item is mismarked, technically a store is supposed to honor that. Mm -hmm. Most places will honor it. Sometimes you kind of run into a sale associate who's like a little bit more difficult. Yeah. But they're supposed to honor that. I have spotted these two pairs of red Valentino pants. Um, I actually tried on the pink one before um, Boxing Day and I didn't pull the trigger on it because one, uh, you kind of see the lining of the pockets, but I was just like, they're really cute on. They're a very nice shade of pink. I don't know if you guys can tell. I think on camera it's coming out really like... It's like washed a, out. Yeah, but it's like a really yeah. nice kind of pale pink. And I was trying to look for a pair of pale pink pants last summer from Zara. And Zara and I, pants-wise, do not get along. And these were so cute. Uh, and these were $725 reduced down to $145. And I got like an extra 30% off this. Um, so I was just like, okay, I'm going to buy them. And then I have spotted this other pair of red Valentino pants. These are kind of like a culotte, and I love culottes, you guys. I have a pair that's like a very cheap material. Like I got them from Design Lab for like 12 bucks, and they just feel cheap. So when I saw this pair, I was like, this is really cute. Uh, and I tried it on, and it was originally $475, marked down to $95 with an extra 30% off. So literally, I got two pairs of Valentino pants for less than $200 with taxes. The next door we went to was just down the street, which is Old Levy's. So the only thing I bought at Old Levy's, and I wasn't even planning on buying this, was this Longchamp tote. I don't know if you get a little crushed. I already used it. Um, it's in this kind of like periwinkle blue. Yeah. Um, the size I was a little iffy was, but as a gym bag, as an everyday bag, where if it's snowing, if it's raining, I could just throw my stuff in. Um, I was like, why not? It was $165, marked down to $100, and then 30% off. So I got it for $60, bucks, which is a really good deal for a long shot. And what I picked up was a shirt. 
which is like a little big to be honest. So I picked up this pajama shirt, this silk pajama shirt, really pretty, <laughs> from ALC, which is actually it's a pretty good brand too. No, from like Ohio. I, I've seen it, but I've never really bought anything from ALC to be honest. Yeah, but. I don't know, this is my first item from them. And it's like a gorgeous silk pajama shirt with this floral print. It is a little big, but you know what? I don't mind it because I like wearing baggy tops, and especially when it comes to like pajama tops. So you just tuck this in in jeans, it'll look really cute. It was originally $4.95, went down to $100, and then I got an additional $30. So it became like, like the price of your bag. Oh, oh yes, yeah. it was like 70 bucks or something. Yeah. This is pretty much wraps up what we got ourselves for Christmas slash our Boxing Day haul. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and we'll see you in my next video. <laughs> awesome. You won't see with your trendy glasses. You're like, they're not even real! Okay.